Hi guys, this is Gabby from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I will discuss the differences between long-term and short-term capital gains. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on how they compare. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the duration of the investment. Short-term capital gains are profits that arise from the sale of assets held for one year or less, while long-term capital gains stem from assets held for over one year before their sale. While short-term gains are taxed at higher ordinary income rates, long-term gain benefits from more favorable tax treatment, potentially providing tax advantages for investors who retain assets over extended periods. Long-term capital gains therefore emerge here as the favorite choice due to their potential tax benefits. Tax treatment Short-term capital gains are taxed according to your individual ordinary income tax rates, which vary from 10% to 37% in the United States dependent upon your specific tax bracket. This implies that these gains are subject to taxation at the same rates as wages, salaries, and other forms of ordinary income. In contrast, long-term capital gains incur a lesser tax burden. In the U.S., the tax rate spans from 0% to 20% depending on your income level and filing status. Individuals with lower incomes may be eligible for a 0% tax rate. Therefore, long-term gains win in this category, as they offer significant advantages in taxation. Impact on investment returns High tax rates on short-term capital gains may substantially reduce your investment returns if you are an investor in a higher tax bracket. Conversely, lower tax rates on long-term capital gains have the potential to enhance your investment returns, enabling you to retain a greater portion of your profits after taxation. Long-term capital gains therefore have a higher opportunity for greater after-tax returns. But do they have any similarities? Yes, they are similar in that they represent profits earned from selling assets or other investments. In addition, they both contribute to your investment returns, potentially increasing the overall value of your portfolio. To sum up, how do they compare? Long-term versus short-term capital gains. I started my investment with short-term capital gains as they offered quick returns, but their higher tax rates significantly diminished my overall investment profits. However, I like the long-term capital gains for their lower tax rates and potential for higher investment returns. Long-term capital gains are also more attractive as they prioritize tax efficiency and maximize after-tax gains in the long run. Therefore, long-term capital gains are the overall winner. Thanks for watching.